And the autonomous period has started. We're going to hope to see both alliances try to get one robot on that charge station and get it balanced. That will set them up for the activation bonus at the end of the game. Both teams do indeed do that. In this game, ranking points are everything when it comes to your placement and your opportunity to go to districts. Getting those points was incredibly valuable. As you can see, these robots are all trying to do their best to score some points. 70-34 on your screen, trying to get that cone that it had picked up and put it into the grid to score some points. 64-65 doing what they can to score. Unfortunately, it looks like 25-50 Skynet looks to be unresponsive. That's blocking off a whole section of Blue Alliance's community. That's going to be tough to move around. 64-65 willing to, to go through... Allow 25-21. Oh, a little bit of a, a traffic jam over there. That was 84-847. That's Fred with the googly eyes. Trying to make their way to the human player station to pick up a piece and score some points. 70-34 creating a link on that upper layer of their grid. This is a close match. Looks like Skynet is back in this match. Hopefully they can contribute this match. They need them. Blue Alliance needs them to hopefully take the win here. With 50 seconds left, only two points separate these two alliances. Red Alliance is starting to pull ahead. Neither team's going to be close enough for that sustainability bonus. But now it's a race to see if they can get the ranking point for the activation bonus. Unfortunately, Skynet 2550 stuck in their opponent's loading zone may have cost them some points for the Blue Alliance. An otherwise close match. Blue Alliance has two activated and engaged. So does Red Alliance. And the victory goes to Red Alliance. Blue Alliance may not have taken the win, but they still got two ranking points.